hello guys welcome back to my channel today we are going through cambridge primary checkpoint mathematics paper 1 from october 2018 right so this is second part of this video actually in the first video uh, we did question 1 to uh, 15, 16 in this video we are going to cover remaining questions i hope you guys are getting everything uh, whatever I explained to you guys I'm trying my best so that all the concepts can be clear to you here are the instructions you can go through that and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so I need your support and those who have already subscribed thank you so much guys God bless you so let's start question 17 uh, we have different times given here these are all times in the morning uh, a b c they are given name a b c uh, write the letter for times in order starting with the small uh, earliest uh, so the earliest time we have to write on first first of all let's make them uh, look same five minutes to seven that means it is 655 right uh, 655 let me write with pen uh, quarter to 10 is quarter to 10 is 9.45 half past 7 that is 7.30 and this is 9.10 so the earliest time here is this one 6.55 so that is A then after that we have 7.30 which is C then we have D and b right now number 18 uh, safia put some numbers into function machine this is in times 100 then out she starts to fill in table uh, of her results right so it is times 100 so into out we have here times 100 right so if you go from here to uh, on the other side it will become divide by 100 so we will work accordingly uh, so 1.5 times 100 so 1.5 times 100 it is 1500 two zeros there is one decimal so one decimal is gone so you see this is given to us 150 so this is how we are working it out now going this way 937 divided by 100 so it will become 9.37 so it is 9.37 right because we are moving from out to inwards so here 6.2 times 100 it is going to be 6200 one decimal place so 620 right from here now right to left divide by 100 it is 0 0.49 so this is going to be 0 0.49 now this 0. 07 times 100 so it is 7 then two zeros there is uh, two decimal place one two decimal come here so answer will be 7 right question 19 a class of 30 children go on a school outing it costs dollar 6.60 for one child work out the total cost for all 30 children so it's simple for one child cost is 6.60 so how much will be the cost for 30 so we are just going to multiply it by uh, 30 6.60 times 30 so for that uh, we can just multiply 66 by 3 6 times 3 18 18 comes here 1 will go up 16 uh, 3 18 plus 1 198 so this is 198 now you see we have two zeros we will add two zeros here okay so now there is a decimal decimal after decimal there are two digits so we will put decimal here so that is 198 so final answer is going to be 198 right now number 20 here is a bag of apples and a bag of oranges so you can see this is a bag of apples this is bag of oranges how much does one apple cost 
so there are four apples you can see and so for apple uh, 76 cents and divided by 4 will give you the cost of one apple you can write here cost of one apple so let's divide 76 divided by 4 4 times 1 uh, 3 4 times 9 so one apple cost 19 cents right now part b tick to show which fruit costs more orange or one apple so we need to first know the cost of uh, one one fruit that means one apple and one orange one apple we already got 19 sets, uh, cents let's see for the oranges how many oranges do we have here we have one two three four and five five oranges so 88 for cost of one orange will be 88 divided by uh, 5 right so 88 divided by 5 5 times 1 3 8 7 3 uh, then we will put 0 5 times 6 30 so cost of one orange is 17.6 now cost of one apple is 19 so which one um, costs more or an apple apple costs more and this is the working it's done already right so these kind of question you need to go step by step number 21 here are four digit cards we have number cards here one two seven and nine use each card so that means every card should be used uh, once to make two digit prime numbers so now you know what are prime numbers prime numbers are the number uh, that can not be divided by any other number except uh, the number itself and one so that means we should have uh, even uh, odd number here because even number cannot uh, be the uh, cannot can be divided by other numbers so uh, if I put let's say uh, there may be more than one answers and so it 7 if I put 17 here so then 17 is a prime number right the other one if I take 1 7 so then I will have here 29 17 or 29 or there may be other answer like uh, 71 and 29 so any of these right now number 22 divide 5.4 by 6 so 5.4 divided by 6 when you divide so we have this number before the digit which is less than 6 so we will put 0 here then decimal now we have two numbers here 54 6 times 9 is 54 and remainder is 0 so answer is 0 0.9 number 23 uh, here is a rectangle drawn a centimeter square grid what percentage of the rectangle is shaded so now how many you see big boxes uh, squares are here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 and out of 8 2 are shaded 2 over 8 and we are looking for 100 that will be the percentage uh, so 2 times 1 2 times 4 then 25 times 4 is 100 so final answer is going to be 25 so if you don't understand like this you can directly like when you do 2 times 100 it is 200 divided by 8 that will also give you 25 okay whatever method you like you can use that one uh, question 24 here are five digit cards so we have cards here one two three four and eight uh, use each card once to make this calculation correct so there may be more than one answers so let's try first I can take any of uh, these numbers let's say I'm taking one and because uh, we need to make five here so one then maybe three okay so let's take four here if I take one and four 
uh, here then uh, my answer here should be 5 after adding so that means if I have 3 here right 3 plus 4 1 will be 4 and 1 carry from here so if I take then I can take here 8 yes yeah we can take 8 uh, a 4 plus 8 is 12 then 1 goes here 3 plus 1 4 plus 1 5 yeah that that works so it is 14 plus 38 and 52 or I can show you one more example uh, we can just swap the numbers also 34 plus 18 will also give you 52 okay so whatever comes in your mind that time you can do that way according to the logics now number 25 number 25 here are two spinners spinner a and spinner b what is the likelihood of spinning of 4 on spinner a uh, spinning of 4 on spinner a so if you look around here on spinner a so we have 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 sections out of these 6 how many times you are getting 4 we are getting 1 2 and 3 so that means half of the numbers are 4 right so that means there are 50 percent chances that means to say even chances right so even chances now part b uh, rajiv spins uh, both spinners and adds the results what is the likelihood that total will be an odd number so uh, he spins both spinners and add the results what is the likelihood that total will be an odd number so if you see we have all the numbers here on spinner a even number on spinner b also even number so even plus even whenever you add even plus an even number it we are going to get an even number so that means we are not going to get any of the uh, odd numbers so the chances are impossible okay or you can write down uh, no chance number 26 calculate 25 percent of 36 so for that it is 25 over 100 times 36 right so what is this 25 it is one quarter so now it is one quarter times 36 so 36 times 1 is 36 divided by 4 so, so that means 4 times 9 when you divide answer is 9 right now number 27 here are some statements write true if the statement is correct and write false if it's not correct uh, you need to follow the instruction if it's true you need to write down like this right the first one has been done for you a square has four equal sides we know that that's correct so that is true and uh, then next we have a parallelogram parallelogram has two pair of parallel sides so yes it is has two pair of parallel uh, it's like this so one pair is this another one is this so yes this is true. four equal angles uh, rhombus rhombus is like this all the sides are equal like a parallelogram but if you see these opposite angles are equal but not all the angles are equal this is acute and this is obtuse so this is false now a trapezium has one pair of parallel side yes so trapezium looks like this so this side and this side is parallel so that is true a rhombus have four equal sides I just told you here rhombus all sides are equal so that is also true so this gives you two marks if you do it correctly number 28 here is the information about 30 students in a class 18 of the students do not walk to school three quarter of the students who walk to school are boys there are six more girls than boys who do not walk to school uh, so we have this table here use this information to fill the missing number in this table right 
so uh, we need to go step by step the first one 18 of the students do not walk to school students so here it's already there so we cannot use this one three quarter of the student three quarter means three by four of the student student total students are 30 right three quarter of the students who walk to school are boys are boys like then uh, let's see uh, when you do this this is 30 times uh, uh, no not 30 uh, let's read it again i'm making mistake here three quarter of the students who walk to school walk to school are 12 so we have to take here three quarter of 12 so four times three it is nine so these are nine right so these are nine so we are done with the second part now there are six more girls than boys who do not walk to school so do not walk to school um, is here six more than that here we need to use some trial and error method this is 18 so sum of this and this should be 18 and it should be more like let's say i am taking 6 6 double of 6 is 12 so 6 plus 12 is 18 so this may be 6 here 6 and 12 right now we can fill it up now 9 plus 6 15 so this way 9 plus 3 is 12 and this way now 12 plus 3 is 15 so this is how you can complete this triple right now number 29 calculate 3 by 10 of 36 meters 3 by 10 so 3 by 10 of 36 so 6 times 3 36 times 3 6 times 3 18 108 so 108 there is one zero here so one decimal so it is 10 point eight meters right now what is the value of five in this number so five is here five it is uh, five over hundred or you can write down five hundreds so this is very direct question five hundreds or e t t h s hundreds right now number 31 uh, this is the last question of uh, this paper so i would again request you guys to subscribe to my channel and press the like button if you liked it and share it with your friends so let's see this is seven first of all we need to solve the bracket and in bracket we will first solve multiplication remaining things you just write down as it is four times two plus three times five is fifteen uh, do step by step don't do all the calculations together now 15 plus 2 it is 17 17 times 4 it is 68 so final answer is going to be 68 so that's it for this paper i hope you guys understood please like share and subscribe with your friends thank you so much guys for watching god bless you